Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. We've got a goofy one from the Fender Parallel Universe series today called the Fender Strat Tele Hybrid. Now, if you ask me, calling it a Strat Tele Hybrid is a real letdown, so I always call this thing the Stratella, the Stratocaster with a Telecaster. <laughs> But anyways, what is the Parallel Universe in case you missed my Jazz Tally video? In 2018, Fender did a 9-run guitar that just basically mix and match their flagship models. So you get things like this, the Strat Tally, the most famous one of the series is called the Meteora. But you can check these out here, they're definitely some interesting guitars. These poor Strat Tellies did not get a lot of love. Even in 2020, you can still buy these things brand new. Initially, the price was $1,999. Now you can pick one up for $1,599. They're mostly floor models though. So yeah, these things are kind of ugly and I'm gonna agree with you guys. They're so doofy looking, but I like guitars that have a little bit of quirky personalities to them like this. But what exactly is this? Sure, it says it's a Strat Tele Hybrid, but it's more so a Telecaster shaped Stratocaster. And I'm saying that because everything about this guitar is Strat. You've got the strat style recessed output jack, you've got the strat style controls, the pickups, even the tremolo system on it, the pick guard assembly and all that stuff is the same. The only thing that really differs here is the body structure. Do notice, see how the strat carves right here? Usually a telecaster does not, but this has a very slight forearm contour to it. Flipping over to the backside, you can see you even get the belly cut of a Stratocaster on this one. Some other tellies will have this, but most regular tellies do not. And the necks are pretty much directly from a Stratocaster, especially the headstock shape here. Pretty much the only thing about this guitar that's Telecaster is the body shape, except for some of these additional contours that we were talking about. So this guitar is best for somebody who really likes the Stratocaster sound but could never really jive with the body style of it. Because let me tell you, playing this thing, it feels like a Telecaster, even though it's kind of got some modernized appointments to it. It just does. And I've always found a Telecaster to be slightly more comfortable than a Strat, so I was actually really surprised by this guitar at how much I liked playing it. From photos, I would have never given this thing a chance. I mean, despite being a nice guitar, it's just kind of ugly. But spec-wise, it's pretty nice. We've got an ash body with a maple neck with a lacquered over fretboard. You've got the satin finish on the back, and you actually have custom shop pickups in this one. So let's go ahead, tear it apart, take a look at its individual parts and specs to learn more about it. Inside the Strat Tele, it's kind of weird looking into a Tele body and having only three single coil pickups like this, because usually you have to take out that other stuff to even see that route, but yeah, that's what it is. You can see that they've got the shielding paint all up and down in all the cavities, so you're good to go there. And you've got a couple of barcodes, and that reads Body Tele Strat Ash. Then this one, we just got some letters and numbers. So as far as modding potential for this, yeah, you don't have a lot to go off of if you wanted to put humbuckers in here because you'd have to do a bunch of extra routing. But I don't see why you'd want to because you get custom shop 69 Stratocaster single coils in here. Which I've actually had these in a different custom shop Stratocaster, so the fact that you can get one of that in a USA production line model is pretty cool. And I think that's why these things get a slight premium to their price. Because most Telecasters and Stratocasters weren't quite $2,000, but when you mix them, apparently it became that much. So that was kind of a selling feature for those. And here you can also see that barcode that makes it part of the Strat Tele thing. With having those custom shop pickups in here, it has all the braided wiring and stuff. It just kind of looks like a custom shop guitar. But you can see you have the CTS pots here, as well as the large disc capacitor and a traditional five-way toggle switch here. Inside the output jack route, you can see the continuation of the ash body, and there's a clearer look at that cavity route. And this does have the two-point synchronized tremolo system with kind of the older vintage style looking saddles that say Fender. Before we put that pick guard back on it, let's just take a look at this ash bot. This one's got two sets of rings going on. So you got one right here and then you got one kind of in the middle. If only you would have one here, it could have been a three ring circus of fun. <laughs> Something that I found was a little bit fishy. There's actually a ding in the finish right there. So that had to have happened at the factory, but it's covered over by the pick guard. So is it a big deal? No, but kind of shows you what quality controls like. 
Moving on here from the ash body, you have a maple neck, which subsequently means you have the maple fretboard, even though it's all in the same piece. And this one does have 22 frets. Notice, if you ever need to take this off, this pick guard is extremely tight to get off. And that's because of this neck pickup. You have to make sure you raise it, kind of like I did right here. That's the only way to get this thing out. Otherwise, you're just fighting the pick guard for a long time. But these are the narrow tall style fret wire and you do have the goopy goop fretboard on here so it's a full gloss finish even though in the way it feels to me it's like halfway between the satin finish and the full gloss this one doesn't feel as sticky but you can see where it does right up along the edges of the frets which is super common on these as far as the radius goes it's nine and a half all the way up and down the neck so it's not compound or anything and you have a bone nut with your biflex truss rod with access up here as far as the headstock goes, you have the Fender Spaghetti logo on here, and this is a USA model with a single string tree. I kind of actually really dig the wood grain that's on this headstock. I never noticed that until just now. That's cool. I guess we can call it a three ring circus. <laughs> As far as neck specs, our nut is about 1.69 inches and 2.04 at the 12th. First fret neck depth, 0.87. That beefs up 0.96 by the 12th. Fender calls this their modern deep sea neck profile. <laughs> I really like that name because it just reminds you of like deep sea diving. And before we flip around to the other side here, this is a mint green pick guard. So it's not quite white. That's just kind of a Fender type thing that they do. And it is three ply. So just master volume with dual tone controls and your typical five way switch. Moving on to the back, this is a rather strange sight to see. A Telecaster body with a Strat trim in it. <laughs> but that's what we're rocking in here. And you get a triple ply back guard right here. That's the mint green color as well. And as we were kind of talking about earlier, you've got the comfort cut right here, just like a Stratocaster, as well as that one on the front. So it's a four bolt on neck here that says Fender Limited Edition. And moving around the edges here, you just kind of have your typical strap buttons down here. And nothing else too fancy going on here. Take a look at this sweet wood grain pattern. This looks like abstract art. So you've got the guy's eye right here and then like another eye there or there. Then this is his nose and that's his mouth. He's just got a really thin face and a pointy chin. Kind of just a strange alien type thing going on there. <laughs> Moving on to the neck, it's a satin finish, but this one sat as a store model for a while where it feels like it's been played so much it's semi-glossy now. So if you like that kind of in-between feel, this one will be great for you. And the back side of the headstock here says US 17, so that actually tells us this is a very early one from 2017. It just kind of sat around for a long time in that store with Fender branded tuners. Pickup reading wise, neck pickups 5.3. Then we get a 2.68 within those two. Now just the middle, 5.3 again. These two, 2.66, two, six, six, and just the bridge pickup, 5.23. And this example weighs seven pounds, 12.2 ounces. So pretty good weight there. Let's go ahead and plug it in and hear how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now that we know all about the Stratella, what are my final thoughts on this thing? I was surprised. I really didn't think I was gonna like fall in love with this guitar or anything, but I think it's just the doofy nature of it that makes me go, yeah, it is a nice playing guitar. I was actually kind of surprised at the tonalities of this thing. So yes, it's very Stratocaster-like, but in a blindfolded test and just the way it feels while you're playing, standing up and sitting down, it still sounds like a Telecaster. I find on the neck pickup, if you roll the tone down just a little bit, it really does sound just like a Telecaster, but I haven't had tons of those things, so that just might be inexperience showing. But the bridge pickup still has that same bite of a Telecaster, so it's very familiar in those positions, but in the in-betweens, the two and four positions, it's like, oh yeah, I have a Stratocaster all of a sudden. So it really is kind of a quirky hybrid blend of those two guitars. And having this forearm contour is one of my favorite things about this. That's not something you can necessarily see in the photos of these guitars, but in person, it's something that really stands out. So once again, a raving review for the Parallel Universe series of these things because it's quirky and I like it, but I'm just kind of a quirky guitar collector. <laughs> So if you're interested in being the next owner of this USA Stratella, let's go ahead and review its condition. This was a floor model ever since late 2017, so it does have some light scratches from being in a store. It was one of the unwanted guitars. I put a little bit of graphite within the nut to help with tuning stability. The frets are in good shape. I don't see any major areas of wear, so you're good to go there. And you do have the full gloss finish on this, but, but it's not super sticky, at least not in my experience, but it has a nice sheen to it. Now onto the face of the body here, you do have some scratches and picking wear. It's nothing extreme, but I notice right here, it's gonna be hard to get it to show up, but there's like a triangle scratch. I really don't know what caused that. It's very minor. You can hardly even see it unless the light catches it just right. And I will suggest a professional setup. I didn't have any issues with it, but some people might not like how much that bridge is sticking up there. This was sold to me as fully set up by the store, but people have different preferences. And it looks like we do have a ding right here where somebody missed the output jack trying to plug in. But the plastic's still on the pick guard, so any scratches you see there can be taken off. Here you can see your serial number, which dates this one to a late 2017. So this was one of the first ones and it just kind of sat around at a store forever. I didn't notice any nicks or dings in the neck. And you got that nice fast satin finish here as well. And moving on to the back, yeah, you got a little bit of scratching here and there, but I think most people would be happy with this condition. I'm sure Guitar Center would probably sell this as brand new, maybe a floor model or something. So I'm gonna price this one very competitively because I've got a bunch of new guitars coming in. So might as well move some of this other stuff. So if you've been waiting for a deal on one of these, I can definitely hook you up with something. Here's a good way to see that forearm contour. You just can't see that straight on, but, but sideways profile, it's clear as day. Cool. So everything's looking good here and no neck pocket cracks or anything. As far as the black light test goes, it's kind of cool. It's got like a, a green burst thing going on here where it just glows a little bit in the center finish, but the dark finish doesn't glow as much. That's kind of a cool finish just in its own, but your neck's glowing the way it would be, but your neck is glowing here. Even your nuts glow in kind of a cool color. You can see where they put the decal on but no breaks, cracks or repairs. This is mainly just for fun when it comes to these Fender guitars anyways. Cool. This guitar comes with its original Fender hard shell case. You got three latches here, a functioning handle. What more do you really want? Your interior will fit both a Strat and Tele, which is you know, a little bit funny seeing this is a mix between the two. And inside here, you get a bunch of case candy and stuff, which includes the certificate of authenticity, some setup tools, and a few other case candies. If you think you might be interested in being the next owner of this Stratella, you can check out that link in the description, which will take you to the Reverb for Sale page. Thank you, Troglodytes, for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next one. Take care. <laughs>